This is our 36 foot floating home sunshine. Join us as we go sailing. It's Saturday, a little bit before noon, on the 5th of August, 2023. It's a stunningly beautiful day, almost completely cloudless sky, clear blue, almost 85 to 90% of the sky, beautiful. Breeze has been up and down and up and down. It's down around 12 knots now, so the boat speed is off a bit. I was thinking uh, 7 o'clock this morning, I did a rough check on our distance traveled. It looked like we would easily crack 100 miles today because the wind was blowing 20 plus right after sunrise, which seems to be a fairly normal occurrence. However, after the sun got up, more and more, the breeze is eased off now. And uh, we're sailing along pretty much right dead on our course line, which is almost exactly down. This wind has gone a little bit more to the east, not much, but a little. We're still getting these horrible rolls. Uh, there's an easterly swell that comes in on a fairly regular pattern. I have no idea what that's all about. I don't know where it's coming from, what's causing it, but it sure is annoying for us aboard the boat. Having to, well, once a minute or so, grab a hold of something to keep from getting thrown around and like, from side to side. The downwind sailing is fine. The boat doesn't roll that much. It's a swell that comes in on the beam. There was a little one that just went by. Uh, and they get pretty big, and that really makes the boat roll like crazy. Anyway, this morning we uh, hustled ourselves up there to the bow and switched over to, I guess you would call it the start attack. Put the stay sail on the pole, on the head stay, on the port side of the boat and set the storm jib flying on the starboard side. This time I added the boat hook as a pole to hold it out. I'll give you a, a short video showing that here in a couple of minutes. Otherwise, it's pretty much been a pleasant cruise after that first day and night with no, or the first night with no wind. We've pretty much had wind the whole time. Some times a little bit more than really necessary considering the way uh, I'm sailing the boat and with the autopilot. You can't really overpower the boat because uh, it's just not possible to steer the main rudder far enough to compensate for the wild motion that increased speed and the larger seas and bigger wind that comes along with it. So, we're content to poke along here. Still making up. Should get pretty close to 100 miles a day. 90 plus, I hope. Anyway, we're just pretty much relaxing aboard. Do a lot of reading. Going back and rereading some of my old books. I just uh, reread Slocum's Sailing Alone Around the World again. Just finished it here a couple of minutes ago. And, uh,. That's where I originally got the idea of backing the storm jib to hold the bow off, but uh, setting the storm jib up all the way up forward, letting it fly free, uh, it seems to work far better in keeping the boat balanced, as long as we're going pretty near dead downwind. 
The strange thing is that even though now they're on a starboard tack, so the stay sail is on the port side, the boat is still having to hold a little bit of starboard helm uh, because the wind is, it, the true wind is probably about 170 degrees apparent through the boat's course, which actually would make the uh, true wind about the same. This we're sailing course I think is somewhere around 330. 327, I think, as I checked it to uh, Calipi Harbor. And we're sailing almost exactly on that line with the wind just slightly to starboard of dead. Anyway, considering I'm running out of a jury rig autopilot setup, no real big complaints. The autopilot seems to be doing okay. I hope it continues to do so because I don't have a spare. It, the one I'm using is my spare. I've got two dead ones down below. I don't know if they'd be worth. I've considered contacting a factory and seeing if it would be worth replacing the guts. The PC board is the main thing, which should have the new programming on it and all that kind of stuff. It would be cheaper enough to do that than to buy a new one, a, a new one. Uh, maybe they have a facility in South Africa, Simrad that is, that could accomplish that. I'll find out, uh, hopefully get down to South Africa. I don't expect that uh, something like that could be found in Kenya, but I could be wrong. Anyway, Got a list of little to-dos, of course the auxiliary rudder, got to make a new one, I'd like to get to maybe get a new port after the shroud while we're here, although my jury rig is holding up just fine, I need to get some welding done on the dinghy davits, a couple of cracks and the mounting plates back aft, uh, we may haul the boat paint the bottom in Kenya rather than South Africa. And I also want to replace the prop shaft bearing in the shrut. All of those things could potentially be accomplished there fairly easily. This place we're going, the boatyard, seems to be well suited for doing these kind of uh, repairs. And a owner says they can handle 40 to 45 feet at a push. We're only 36 feet, so it should be no problem. Anyway, we're just relaxing, enjoying the day. Rolling along here. I'll go down and ride up the log at noon here in a few minutes. So, bye for now. Oh, stay tuned. I'll tap on to the end of this one. A short video showing the setup of the sails for the start of the Bye. Okay, there we are. There's the boat hook holding out the storm jib, which is set flying free. And of course the spinnaker pole is holding out the stay sail, which is hanging to the head stay. Pretty simple setup. Pretty easy to manage. You can see the boat rolling like crazy on the damn beam seas. And it's driving us pretty well. About three and a half knots right now. I know. Not much of a shot, but pretty simple setup. 